My name is uh, Landon Shaw, and I'm originally from Chicago, moved to St. Louis uh, about eight years ago now. Uh, I've been working professionally in the industry uh, as an equity actor uh, since the early 90s. Uh, had a career that I've been very blessed with that took me all over the United States as an actor, director, uh, company manager, designer. And that's when I really learned, um, as an actor, at least for myself, that to be uh, marketable and to kind of be attractive to other companies, the more you knew, the better off you were going to be. So I really uh, honed in on other skills when it came to theater because I loved working in any capacity. And so I developed a, a love for directing, really, and producing and, and kind of the management end. Uh, so I found in the last several years in my career has kind of taken me more to that uh, end of things. I've run uh, here in St. Louis a successful company called Drama Rama Theater Company. Ran that for many years. Uh, my wife had started it and I took it over. We started a summer stock component, um, added on to that. Uh, locally, I haven't really directed that much, which is what uh, kind of brought me to uh, fabulous places like Kirkwood Theater Guild, uh, just because I wasn't able to kind of break into the scene, so to speak. And so um, I finally got to the point where I, I just knew I had to direct in this city and, and, and get some attention. And my wife said, hey, uh, as someone who's lived in St. Louis all my life, I can tell you that the community theaters are very strong, uh, have amazing talent, amazing productions. You should, you know, try those out. And so I interviewed with Kirkwood Theater Guild and uh, very proud and honored to say that I'm here. And so this will really be uh, my kind of debut, if you will, uh, directing-wise, in uh, St. Louis region, St. Louis City. Uh, I have just previously directed Nonsense for a company out in St. Peter's called Act Two, uh, and we'll be directing more with them. But uh, in terms of being close to home, uh, as I'm from South City, this will kind of be my debut, so I'm very excited. Um, obviously, the title's intriguing. Uh, I'm sure the audiences are going to get a kick out of it just from that. But um, when you go beyond the title, you read in, you find that this really is um, a really cool uh, piece of theater. Um, the plot isn't too intricate, but uh, what the author's done in terms of creating the characters is what impressed me the most. The characters have a lot of depth. You really have a lot of time to get to, uh, to know them. Uh, you'll really see their arcs from the beginning to the end. I met with the design team. Uh, we looked through uh, the, the stock, which I have to say is an amazing, amazing stock. Truly, for those of you that are kind of interested in the behind the scenes aspect, I have not seen too many theaters in this city that have an amazing design team, uh, the kind of stock and warehouse that uh, Kirkwood Theater Guild has. It will blow your mind if you're uh, kind of a, a tech geek like I am. So uh, I got to see all the behind the scenes aspects and uh, what we did was we decided um, that we're going to obviously pull from stock for our set, but we're adding um, the elements of the set that are necessary to kind of make it tricky and, and uh, do some of the neat things that are within the script. I don't want to give those away, uh, but let's just say it's an old apartment, rent controlled, New York City, so it's going to have a charm and a mystique to it, uh, and then there's some hidden surprises. I remember my, uh, my first directing gig was back home in Chicago, and I was working with uh, some of the um, matriarchs and patriarchs of, of the theater scene there and I remember I was about 22, 23, I was directing Amadeus and I was very intimidated because I thought okay here's you know these older mature actors that have paid their dues, they've been around are they gonna listen to some 23 year old punk? But what I realized was and this is what I think I love the most about theater is for the most part if people are in it for the right reasons which I believe in community theater they definitely are which is why I was really uh, kind of drawn to community theater. Uh, and by the right reasons, I mean they're passionate about it. They want to learn. They want to grow. They want to be challenged. They want to take risks. So it didn't really matter how old I was. It didn't really matter how much experience I had. As long as I was willing to challenge them and uh, kind of make them rise to another level, suddenly the age thing kind of didn't matter and the experience didn't matter. It was now about a group of artists coming together to produce something amazing. Um, I kind of envisioned the whole, you know, big picture 
and it's up to me to cast people that are going to get on board with my concept, that are going to get in line with kind of how we view the show, but then together we build this beautiful production. Um, and they have to take ownership in it. Um, if I'm a director that sits there and plots out every single movement and every single uh, motivation and everything that I want them to be thinking about, they haven't made it their own. And that's going to show to the audience. And so I have, um, when I present uh, my character descriptions to my actors, I give them a very general, broad base kind of feel and, and uh, idea. Uh, and then I really leave it up to them to create a backstory and to kind of fill in all those missing pieces. And throughout the process, I constantly tell them, take risks. Um, I use a lot of phrases such as um, uh, levels, creating levels. You know, we have to have those peaks and valleys throughout the show. Um, there has to be a lot to this character. And that has to unfold as we go from start to finish. Otherwise, why are we asking the audience to invest in this for two hours? So you have to show a lot of peaks and valleys, and there has to be a lot of elements to the character. The other thing I uh, always challenge my actors to is the easiest choice or the obvious choice is not always the best choice. Um, in theater, uh, I kind of uh, use the mantra that no one writes plays about the day nothing happened. So that means that the actor has to show either a sense of urgency or has to find a discovery of some sort. And that's why this play has been written. And that's why this character is a part of this play, is because something new has happened. Auditions are perhaps probably my favorite uh, aspect of the entire um, uh, process, you know, from start to finish. I love auditions because um, everyone's vulnerable. The director's vulnerable. The actors are vulnerable. The director's vulnerable because he has to cast this show, he or she, and needs the actors to be good uh, and needs to find the right people for, for the parts. And so it's, it's very vulnerable. You're, you're, you're nervous. You're wanting every person to come in and just, you know, nail it. Um, so some of the adages that the director wants you to be good, so don't be nervous, it's, it's absolutely true. Um, we love nothing more than the first eight or ten people to walk in to be perfect, and then from there, you know, you have, okay, you have a cast, and now it just gets bigger and better from there. That's not always the case. Um, so what I would ask anyone um, out there uh, watching this to do for any audition is be yourself. Uh, take risks, but... Um, don't try to uh, typecast yourself. Don't try to cast yourself. Don't get into the director's head. Present yourself. Present your best self. Uh, be polished, um, but not too polished. Don't be over-rehearsed, because I'm looking for um, a natural quality. I'm looking for uh, believability. I'm looking for a truth. And that truth starts from the moment you walk in. Um, I've even been known to uh, ask people in the hallway, be it uh, the person working the table or, you know, someone that maybe is on staff, hey, how were they in the hallway? Were they talkative? Uh, were they friendly? Were they personable? Because I need to know this person on stage and off. You can be the most talented person in the world, but if you don't click with other people, if you're not warm to other people, if you're not part of the company and part of really trying to be part of the team, then I don't want you, honestly. So I'm looking for all those elements. Um, it's funny because uh, most of my directing experiences, at least in the last several years, have been musicals. And so I've had to, you know, really be uh, very precise with the rehearsal schedule and making sure that obviously we're giving time to the choreographer and the music director. So uh, I'm very excited to be in a position where I only have to worry about the play, and, and I'm, you know, the one director working on it. My process seems to be that I go very fast, um, and that's for a number of reasons. Um, I want to get in on its feet, especially a show like this, where uh, timing is going to be very important. Um, that idea of discovery and, and really knowing these characters backwards and forwards. So as a director, I tend to block very, very quickly. I tend to get to runs very quickly. That way we have a lot of time to play. 
and we have a lot of time to really um, do a lot of uh, uh, character work. I tend to step uh, aside from the script sometimes, uh, incorporate improvisation into our rehearsal process. We do a lot of talking about relationships, especially in this show. The relationships are very, very important. Uh, I think they're almost what defines uh, kind of the course of action, because uh, if these relationships weren't what they were, uh, I don't think there would be a show. Um, so relationship is going to be key. Timing is going to be key. And I think really knowing these characters backwards and forwards. So I imagine we're going to spend very little time blocking um, and a lot more time on the characters and the execution and, and just kind of putting it all together and playing and having fun. Uh, several. I've been in 13 of them. Yeah. That's how I got my equity card. So, yeah. I, I know Joseph backwards and forwards.